The Zach's Rank, Value, Momentum, Growth and Income all factor into Zach's Rank Buys. We're going to take a look now at a couple of growth and income stocks with some juicy dividends as identified by Nina Mishra, the editor of Zach's Income Investor Service here. And uh, the first one, Intel, it's a company that's been around for a while. They're one of the largest chip makers in the world. Yeah, it used to be the largest. They were the largest. They recently lost the top spot to Samsung. Mm. And they are undergoing this transition from what they call being a PC-centric company to a data-centric company mm -hmm. uh, because they are increasing their focus on high growth areas like data centers, self-driving cars and the Internet of Things. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, earlier this year, they announced the acquisition of Israeli tech company Mobileye, which uh, makes sensors for autonomous driving cars. Uh, so this company reported last week excellent results beating on both the top and bottom lines, mm -hmm. and they also increased their guidance for the year. And if you go to the detailed estimates page, uh, you can see that analysts really liked uh, the results as well as upgraded guidance. Uh, so estimates for the current and next year have been going up in the right direction. And uh, so that has sent the stock to a Zach's rank number two uh, as of now by, and if we see the estimates movement in this direction, it may go to a Zach's rank number one also. Mm -hmm. uh, so I like, what I like about them is uh, that uh, there's really diversity in the uh, revenue stream. So it's a good long-term pick. It has a VGM score of A and a juicy dividend yield of yeah, 3%. 3%. Yeah. Not many tech companies pay that kind of dividend. And the industry is also hot currently in the top 5%. So that also looks good. With the way, the, the speed with which technology changes, mm -hmm. all of these companies, I, I think, have to diversify, yeah, right? Yeah, they have to diversify and they have to invest more in high growth areas. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is what this company has been doing and that's what I like about them. And also the stock has a reason, very reasonable valuation. So it is currently trading at a for at forward earnings of a multiple of 12.2, mm -hmm. which also looks very good compared to many other tech giants. All right. Well, we'll see if their diversification pays off and gets them that top spot again going mm -hmm. forward. The uh, other one is a timber reed potlatch. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so it's a timber reed, and uh, they own about 1.6 million acres of forest lands, and they are also among the top lumber manufacturers in the U.S. And of all timber reeds, potlatch has highest leverage to lumber prices. So they benefit a lot from when lumber prices rise. And we know that lumber prices have really been soaring this year because mm -hmm. of this uh, trade dispute between the U.S. and Canada over softwood lumber imports from Canada, as also forest fires in mm -hmm. British Col Columbia. Yep. And the surging uh, Canadian currency, the loonie, has also impacted uh, shipments from Canada. So that has sent uh, lumber prices rising and benefiting this company. They also reported last week, and if you go to the detailed estimates page, you can see the big beat of 80% over here. And uh, of course, analysts like the results, and they have been raising the estimates, sending the stock to a Zach's rank number one. Uh, now this is a, a REIT, uh, so they have to pay out a lot of dividends to their shareholders. Mm -hmm. It has a juicy dividend yield of 3.1% as of now. I was going to say they're not deficient in that area. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And additionally, they have also been returning a lot of cash to shareholders via buybacks. Okay. And uh, industry is in the top 
18%. So that also looks good uh, with the uh, Zach's rank number one and a juicy dividend yield. I think the stock is worth a look. And I own this and the income investor portfolio. Okay, but not either of these outside of the service. No. All right, and just for a calendar note, last week would have been the end of July for people who mm -hmm. are following uh, on those earnings reports. Well, thanks for that. We know you'll keep your eyes open for more of these going mm -hmm. forward. In the meantime, you can find out a lot more stock information, not only on these two companies, but many others on our website, zax.com. Get over to the homepage, link to it all from there. With Nina, I'm Terry Ruffalo.